what are you looking for when you're thinking of new games to buy? And, and it's, like, is Dragon Ball on the menu? Will the game make me feel like a badass? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I love games where I could just, like, beat the hell out of, like, you know, a character or an enemy and uh, in a very, like, stylish way. And I have a feeling that uh, this game might do exactly that. It will, not only will it make you feel like a badass, it'll let you create your own badass. You know, create, oh, nice. customize, you know, customize the hair, customize uh, the visors, all that. Like we have the, 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 just the generic time patroller in here just for the demo, but you're gonna be able to customize that. You're gonna be able to customize this combo, stuff like that. Sweet. Yeah. All right, uh, can you, are you gonna show us a little bit of I am, I was actually, I, wait, I was gonna ask, man, what, uh, what character did you want me to? Uh, oh at? man, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if I could go with one. Is the original Goku. Goku. Where's Bulma? Uh, Bulma, uh, she'll be in the full game. All right, I'm just holding you accountable, that's all. How about Vegeta? Do, you want to, do we want to do, like, Vegeta? Is that possible? We can do a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. How's that there, sound? That sounds amazing, yes. Yes, the tightest pants Vegeta. There you go. With no shirt. No <laughs> shirt. <laughs> hmm, all it. right, so if we're going to go with Super Saiyan Vegeta, let's go with the OG Goku, then. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, stages, what do we got here? Now, you were Let's playing around on a stage before, and I think that stage was really helpful to show off all the, the vertical elements of the oh, game. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, that that's the World great. Tournament stage. World Tournament, nice. It's like a classic beatdown stage. Oh, yes. Well, and I think, you know, there's a lot of fighting games out there. There's a lot of ways to do it. But this really brings in the Dragon Ball element with how vertical you can get, with how much you can play around in all the dimensions. So. Yes. Uh, it's my favorite thing to watch, you guys. I, I, you have a booth over here, and I think so many people, I'm sorry, I'm in the way of you trying to play the I game. know. <laughs> but I just up. see a long line. Everyone's so excited to get their hands on their favorite character. They want to mess around. They want to feel powerful. So how unique are each of these characters when you get into the game and you start fighting? Um, super unique. Depending on the character, they all have their own movesets. They all have their, you know, special special abilities. Like here, if I hold down the R2 trigger, you'll see the special abilities that I'm able to, you know, uh, execute. I want. I should have got a little closer to execute that one, but I'll get him. I'll get him on the next one. Oh man, this looks like it would just be unfair. Like he's he's going Super Saiyan. Right, and Goku this is OG chance. Goku. I mean, it's not even a competition. I'm gonna whoop this guy. It's yeah. gonna be bad. This is episode one. Okay, yeah. Goku needs some time. He needs to think about it. Charge up. He'll come back. And I love how, like, you're just not even touching the ground right now. It's like it's yeah, all about, like, an air battle. Yeah. So we're playing against the, the Kam right now. And, I mean, does it does he sort of follow you? If you wanted to take this fight to the ground and, and make it sort of like a 3D fighter uh, that we're used to, will he follow you down yeah, there? Definitely. I just like staying in the air just because it, it gives it that more <laughs> cinematic view. It, it is, you know, Dragon Ball is all about, like, hopping up in the air, flying around, just beating the crap out of people there. Like, I hit Charged the ground up, right yeah. here. And, yeah, I can follow him down to the ground and play like a traditional brawler as well. Which I love seeing that, like blasting him like into like the cement of the, the arena. Yeah, the, the, the graphical detail is ridiculous and the amount of stages that are gonna be in the, in the full version are, it, are just mind blowing. Yeah, so this is Xenoverse 2. What did you change from, from one to two? What did you bring in? Just more customization options, uh, more levels, more stages, more story. Cool. Oh, that's what I was just going to ask everything. about earlier. So there is like a storyline that you can follow. Definitely, yeah. Okay. It's going to be huge. I mean, just there's going to be epic set pieces in in the storyline. Any hints you can give us? Hmm. Damn. Just know that it's gonna it's gonna in, encompass all the different characters in the game and and then some. Um, actually, speaking of which, that was another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, we just announced Steve Aoki, DJ Steve Aoki, is going to be an NPC in the game. What? what you, not part of the Dragon Ball universe? Nice. But he made some like dope Dragon Ball remix tracks for us, and we decided to put him in there as a DJ. Oh, so man. where where Check can we out. find him in the in the map? Is he going to be part? He's going to be uh, yeah. So he's going to be in Canton City. He's going to be an NPC. He's going to be a DJ in there. Wow. What a lucky and guy, I, dude. <laughs> mission accomplished. Took this guy down. Yeah. I, I mean, it. I didn't see him fight back, Demetria. Uh, I'm yeah, proud right. of you. Don't think I'm not proud of you. I got yeah. skills. What can I say? I, again, it was, it was just not even going to be a match because, you know, like, Vegeta's going Super Saiyan. You know, Goku's just what, what can he do? Like, right. Such so show me your rage. customized character fighting, and, and can we take a look at how you built this time patroller? No, unfortunately for the okay, demo, there, there's no. Uh, he's already pre-built, so we don't have any of the customization. But in the full game, if you played Xenoverse One, it had a ton of customization already, and this one's even going to be more so. And it's not just, uh, as I mentioned before, it's not just like what he looks like. It's the combo set, it's the move set, and stuff like. That. Excellent. So can we can. We can borrow them from kind of all our favorite fighters, you know, pick and choose their move sets, build my little dude, and exactly. marry Sue the hell out of this universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, one thing we haven't brought up yet is the release date. It's coming real soon. It's October 25th. Oh, wow. 2016. It, I mean, it's right around the corner. That is crazy. October is just loaded with, like, so many great games coming out. Right? Uh, wow. So Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 coming out as well. Yep. 
So it's October, October 25th. We got a, a special edition coming out. If you pre-order, you get a bunch of DLC for it. Um, you get the, uh, I believe it's called the, the. It, it's a staff that you ride on. I, I can't remember the name of it off the top. It's like Tauntaun, Pon Pon. Oh, pon. Yeah, yeah, one of those words. But uh, if, if you go on the website, you're able to pre-order and you'll you'll see the image there. You get that. Um, you get this cool deluxe edition box. It, it looks amazing. I love the deluxe edition boxes. Yes. Look very good on my mantle. <laughs> uh, let's check out some more battles here. Yes. We'll go with trunks. I was wondering another, about, another favorite? Yeah, one thing I wanted to ask about was like the mechanics with like the key and the stamina bars there. Uh, like I was wondering once we get into the fight if you could talk about like how they work. Sure, yeah, definitely. All right, where are we going today? Let's fight in hell. <gasps> there you go. I'll see you in hell, Trunks. All right, time patroller. Here we go. Show me your stuff. Bosses. I love this mode. So hopefully I'll be able to build my meter up enough to pull off some of those super moves. Yeah, the stamina meter uh, is what allows you to fire off different projectiles, do your special moves. Okay. And then your key meter, as it builds up, it, it opens up more moves for you to do. I just want to say, this is a very interesting take on hell. I, I would, yeah, yeah, right? On that. Not what I imagined it, it would be like. I thought way more demon torture, way fewer globules. I, I, I was just gonna say, I feel like we're in like, uh, you know, some kind of giant creature's stomach or like, you know, small intestines of like. Right, like, like yeah. they look like uh, blood cells or jelly beans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you got like some bacteria down there with like the spike balls. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what they could be, Maybe like a virus. So uh, how much of the environment is interactable? We saw in the, the stadium where you were slamming into the ground, chunks of concrete were flying up. Is that going to be a feature of every stage? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be segments in the environment that are like totally interactable. You're going to be able to push guys through walls, you know, flip, flip them up in the air, stuff like that. So a, lot, a huge amount of interactivity with the environments. That sure. is so cool. I love how you can just beat on him and then just like fly toward him to like continue the combo. Yep. So, we, I mean, we talk a lot about the awesome things you can do. I mean, are, are any of these characters limited in any way? When we're choosing to fight against, like, Trunks versus, you know, Vegeta, are we going to see different abilities that are wildly drastic? Or are they just all kind of strong aerial fighters? Not just wildly drastic. You're also going to uh, you're also gonna see uh, the different, like, uh, styles of fighting. So you're going to have, like, these slower, bulkier characters that just hit really hard. And you're going to have uh, uh, fast guys like Goku that move around really quick and just do small amounts of damage where you're able to pick them off. So you have to strategize. Sure. All right, and as we play through the story, I mean, uh, what are we going to unlock? What are we going to learn as we go through? I mean, what are the advantages that playing through the story is going to give us as we go? It's going to unlock new, uh, new customization for your character. Uh, it's going uh, to unlock uh, just uh, more cutscenes, and it's going to unlock some secrets that we don't want to talk about yet. All right, well, I guess we I was we trying to get around that as best I could, but... You don't want to reveal... Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't want to reveal too much, yeah. exactly. All right, well, we have the uh, the information coming up for you guys. It's coming out October 25th. 25th, uh, 2016. Pre-order now when you get a chance. It's available, I mean, pretty much anywhere. Amazon, GameStop, uh, the Bandai Namco store uh, online. So, yeah. Right. And are, are you streaming? Are you guys on Twitter? Where can we reach out to you before then? Uh, you can reach us out. The best way is uh, all the cool kids apparently are using Twitter, so I would go I've at heard. Bandai Namco US. Uh, we also stream on Twitch, of course. We're there as well, and that's at, at Bandai Namco US as well. So yeah. Twitch is pretty cool. I, uh, I agree. I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it seems to be catching on. <laughs> yeah. It's cool with the kids. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Dimitri. What an incredible game. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 coming out October 25th. Man, thank you so much for joining me here on the desk. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tons of...